Hello there and welcome to the Star Wars Showcase YouTube channel. We're taking a little bit of a diversion from our normal content today to take a look at a G.I. Joe classified series Tunnel Rat from the Night Force subline as we have not had new Black Series releases in a while. So let's take a look at Tunnel Rat here. So this figure here is a Walmart exclusive from the Night Force subline, which is harkening back to the late 80s with G.I. Joe, who did some more kind of covert operations sort of takes on many of their different characters. Uh, and this figure here is actually a repaint of the already existing Tunnel Rat. And so different color schemes here. I picked this figure up because as an Asian American, I love seeing, you know, different Asian characters get translated into the action figure lines that I collect. And I much prefer this darker, more realistic looking, uh, I think, a take on the figure as opposed to the green with kind of the face paint. So Tunnel Rat here is just another great example of how the G.I. Joe classified line is really putting all of Hasbro's other lines to shame these days. As you just saw all of the different accessories that I took off of the figure here, as this guy is coming jam-packed with all kinds of different gear. Gear that you can put on him, you know, all at once, and he's certainly, you know, fully loaded that way, but I think also enough gear that you can actually get a couple of different looks depending on how you want to display or play with your figure. So I really like the little knife that he comes with. It fits quite well in this little sheath, and it's made of kind of a flexible, more rubbery sort of plastic there. Uh, he also has, as I modeled earlier, a revolver that fits quite nicely in a holster over his chest. And then just taking a look at some of the other stuff that Tunnel Rat here is coming with. These night vision goggles are really cool. Uh, they fit quite nicely over his head, so he can actually be looking you know, through those lenses. Uh, but you can also pop it up a little bit at an angle, so it's kind of resting on his forehead as well. The Black Series is very sparing with extra goggles or items that are removable. Most often, you know, helmets will be or, or hats will be, you know, fixed on top of the head. Uh, so having kind of that modular aspect is really nice. Uh, Tunnel Rat also comes loaded up here with this bandolier of ammunition. Uh, I like having these for figures as I think you can, uh, you know, use those for other custom projects or if you're just looking for that fully loaded Tunnel Rat along with this, you know, heavy machine gun sniper looking thing that he comes with. Uh, it's also really great for building out and completing that look as well. And it is one comment on the weapon here, really awesome to see not only the bipod that works, but just all the different paint colors that are coming in. As so many of our Star Wars figures are just getting a plain black or a plain gray blaster. And so seeing some extra detail here that, you know, I'm not having to add as a customizer, uh, I think it is really fantastic. I like the, the, the sharp red on the scope, uh, as well as some of this kind of foresty green here looks really good. Uh, some of the black... Uh, parts might benefit from a little bit of a metallic dry brush, uh, but, you know, I think that's just me getting down into the weeds. I also haven't called out that he is uh, packed with a little crossbody satchel or a bag, kind of a la Indiana Jones, as well as this nice backpack accessory. And G.I. Joe, of course, you know, from the very beginning has made use of a lot of things that will clip onto the back of figures' backs. And so we've got a nice little peg here uh, that allows that to fit on Tunnel Rat's back here with those little removable flashlights as if he were, you know, crawling on hands and knees through the tunnel, he could illuminate through the back and then be able to see forward. You know, a lot of kind of Vietnam War imagery there, of course, even with the name Tunnel Rat. Uh, but in summation, this is a really awesome figure, jam-packed with all kinds of accessories, and just another example of why I think the G.I. Joe classified line is really shining as the best and brightest of Hasbro's lines right now. But let me know down in the comments below if you agree with these ideas, if you've got any thoughts about Tunnel Rat here, or if there are any thoughts you have about, you know, different improvements on this particular figure that might be able to translate over to our Black Series line as well, as I'd love to hear some of those thoughts. So thank you so much for watching, everyone. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please make sure to check out some of the other content on our channel as we've got other reviews of G.I. Joe classified figures, as well as some tips and tricks for making action figures of your own.